the Rainbird root watering system effectively delivers water, air, and nutrients to the root system of trees and shrubs. It easily connects to irrigation lateral lines or can be installed in drip zones. Specifying the RWS on irrigation plans is quick and easy. First, place the RWS units and connect them to your irrigation system. Next, assign a detail in the Irrigation Manager. Irrigation contractors can reference the details and see exactly how the RWS should be installed. The RWS is available in three sizes, 36 inches for large to medium-sized trees, 18 inches for small trees and large shrubs, and 10 inches for smaller shrubs and trees. For existing trees, position units evenly spaced half the distance between the tree trunk and the edge of the tree canopy. For large to medium-sized trees, use three or more RWS units. For small trees and large shrubs, use two RWSM units. And for smaller shrubs and trees, use two RWSS units. For large to medium-sized trees, equally space the RWS units around the root ball with no more than 30 inches between them. For smaller trees and shrubs, place the RWS units on opposite sides of the plant material. If shrubs or trees are spaced less than 12 inches apart, use one RWSS between each plant. For slope landscapes, install the RWS uphill from the plant material and be sure to specify RWS units with check valves. For existing trees or shrubs, use a one or two man auger to drill holes where the units are needed and make sure the holes are slightly larger and deeper than the RWS unit. Integrated polyethylene swing assembly and spiral barb fittings connect to PVC and PE pipes. For extremely hard or clay soils, consider adding three quarter inch pea gravel beneath the unit to help with water distribution. An optional cloth sand sock prevents soil from penetrating the unit during the backfill process and over time, especially with sandy soil. You can also fill the RWS canister with pea gravel to provide firmness against root compression. Be sure to install the RWS level to finish grade for a clean appearance. The 1400 series bubblers on the RWS are pressure compensating full circle bubblers with flow ranges from 0.25 to one gallon per minute. For sandy soil, consider using higher output bubblers and for hard clay soil, use cycle and soak programming along with lower output bubblers. Be sure to check out the video on converting the RWS for surface irrigation or visit our website for more information.